Mamu news, bringing you news all about Mamu. A uh, comment on one of the other videos wanted me to have Huyin on the poster. However, it's too big to fit my poster frame, so you have to deal with this. There you go. Huyin in the video. So Huyin was chosen as the muse for May, which is the color uh, very Perry. That's the color of 2022. And basically, this is for uh, ssg.com or Shinsegae. Uh, they, on Instagram, they've selected her announcing um, that she is their muse now. They're basically one of the leading retailers in South Korea, so it's kind of a big deal. Look at this. Look at my girl. The color Very Perry is actually a brand new color that has been introduced by Pantone. So it's like the color of the year now and like everyone needs to follow it, I guess. Surprisingly, this is not the color. This is the color Very Perry. <laughs> but you know, her, her outfit complements it, I say. Next up, we have Moonbyul. Her MBTI changed from ENFP to ISFP. Oh my goodness. And there might be a reason why she's a little bit shy now. Uh, just to give you an update before we move on. Solar was INFJ, now INTJ. Uh, Huyin was INTP, now ENFP. And Fossa was ENFP, now INFP. I am ESFP, surprisingly. I took it and I changed. But here is why, or well, maybe not why, but this is her being a little introverted and cautious. When I saw those posts, I thought of this. If I don't say it, I wouldn't know. Something I thought of, it bothers me when I greet artists, I don't really know not knowing the contents and I will feel sorry I will work hard to communicate with the translator more this is kind of like a weird translation and then communicate better with Moomoo's after understanding the content thank you for understanding Moomoo's so let me give you the tea what happened was there was this Moomoo fan Stellaris that have uploaded the got a video fan sign for Moonbyul and she asked her to say hello to an actress and she felt and Moonbyul felt uncomfortable you know saying t hello or greeting other celebrities that she doesn't even know without any context and the reason why this is kind of a bigger deal then, you know, just any actress is because this actress was playing as a lesbian in, I think, Gap the series. It's a Thai lesbian show, I think. Uh, something about Becky and Freyan? But they're, it seems like they're really, really popular. It's just that there's an issue with that. And it's mainly because from someone that posted this on Twitter. I saw some TikTok sharing this on here too, since it's kind of related. As a Korean person who's lived in Korea for their entire life, I really want to say this to all the non-Korean K-culture fans. Please don't ask your favorite Korean celebrities to publicly speak about LGBTQ plus women and POC rights. I understand what you're expecting from asking those to them, but Korea is a very conservative country, so it can be a big danger for even speaking about these topics publicly as public figures. The chances of them getting harassed by the press and banned on public medias is really high. Just for saying the, about these controversial ideologies, quote unquote. I'm saying this not because I'm not supporting basic human rights, but very aware about the social situation in this country. It's even dangerous, not only for Korean celebrities, but all the minorities who are living in Korea. 
So, if you truly care about these issues, please use other ways to share these problems than asking your favorite Korean public figures to speak about those. Very long-winded. This isn't a, a tick. I don't think this is a TikTok thing that came up after this incident. It was. I think this Mumu kind of just saw this and like, oh, this is kind of related to what's going on right now. Basically, Stellaris did that. She asked Moonbyo to say hello, and she uploaded it, the video, but Moonbyo was like, oh, aha, it's uh, an actress that plays a lesbian. So, I don't think she, I don't think she asked Stellaris to take it down. I think Stellaris kind of took it down herself, um, and I don't know, but her account is closed. Sort of. She retweeted this. Korean fan club. I think this is the one of the Thai actresses in that um, female lesbian show. Yeah, Becky and Freen. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but anyways, I think it's commendable of her to apologize publicly, although I cannot find this tweet anymore. It was deleted removed from her so but you know she's giving her sincerest apologies and I can commend her for that so she says about the video from the fan sign earlier which I've taken down I was introducing and explaining the certain drama to her the video of her greeting the actresses earlier is one thing I asked from her during the call I'd like to sincerely apologize to Moonbeal and the rest of the Moomoos and other fans from different fandoms who felt uncomfortable with the actions I made earlier I'm fully aware that these times to meet the artists, online and offline, are precious to everyone and we should always treasure them. I promise not to make this kind of mistakes in the future. Once again, I'm giving my sincerest apologies to everyone. I'm mainly saying this not to, like, call her out. It'll... I'm sorry <laughs> if it seems like that. It's more to uh, warn future Moomoos. Please just focus if you are... If you have been selected for the video fan signs, or if you're like going to a fan meeting, just make it about, try to make it about the artist, Mamamoo, and their job, which is like their music, or maybe, you know, musicals. It's a little weird asking someone else to say hello to another celebrity, I think. You know, I understand though why people want that out of their favorite Korean celebrity. You just want maybe some validation that you want this LGBTQ community to be tight knit, you know, you're supporting each other because it's like some hard times going on. I get it, but you know, these are public figures and you kind of have to respect this conservative Korean culture and kind of let them do what they gotta do in order to survive and uh, whatever it is, you know? Not, not everyone has to fight the fight, if you get what I mean. Not everyone is equipped to fight the fight. Just because they're public figures doesn't mean that they should represent the fight, whatever it may be. LGBTQ+, person of color, Black Lives Matter, anything like that, you know, they can support it. That doesn't mean they have to represent it, if you get what my drift. Still very commendable that she has apologized. I don't like that she took down this tweet, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. At least we know now, and um, I hope that you guys, if you have ever, ever, win a video fan sign or have the chance to meet them let's just keep it within the realms of you know their job right instead of trying to get personal gain out of this and on to a lighter topic it's time for our weekly me 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 k moves and solar i moves this is so me after seeing all of those clips of Sole and Matahari, and I'm just gonna cry. I'll really wanna watch it. 
Moving on to Solar. Midnight Horror Story is back. E. Oh, how do I pronounce that? E. Kyung and Mamu Solar will be joining as MCs for the second season of Midnight Horror Story. First broadcast June 9th at 11:20 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Wow, she finally made it, you guys. She is officially a permanent cast member. Oh my god. Not even a guest. Like, she went there. What? She guested like once. And now she's a permanent member. Ah, oh, she's amazing. I love her so much. Oh my god. <laughs> I just did not expect him to show his underwear, though. Oh! oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to pause here. <laughs> Let's go back. Oh my god, this is a mess. Okay. <sighs> I'm pretty weak on these horror stories. Like, I covered my eyes through half of the episode that Solar was on. Uh, this one I wanted to show. Uh, someone actually subbed this duet of Solar and Chang sub from way up there. So you can kind of get more of a sense on what kind of song this is really about. So you can check it out for yourself. The lyrics are really, really pretty. I actually uh, reacted to this live on Twitch. So the video should be out soon for that since EMK took down my other reaction for the Sits Pro. So we have um, the three male leads. Or is it four? Nope, it's four. Four of the male leads for Matahari. They came on to this radio, I think it was Coltwold radio station, and they mentioned Mamu Solar here. Sorry, I just realized the tweet should have been bigger, but here is. <laughs> so Honki says, Okju Hyun and Mamu Solar, who is challenging her first musical debut. And then the radio DJ says, Oh, it's a big so it's a big role for Solar and for her first musical. And he's like, yeah, that's right. And he's like, oh, it must have been a bit burdensome. And then Honky says, oh, but she's really good. Uh, Sungshik says, oh, but she has no fear at all because she is someone who already has stage experience. So she's really good to the point you won't even believe it's her first time performing a musical. And then continuing on, he says, when receiving... Um, Oh, sorry. We're gonna skip this one because this is wrong. The correction is, uh, Ok Ju Hyun Shi. She's done the premiere and reenactments of the musical by herself. This time, Solar for practice. You know how we received notes from the director. Even in the final rehearsal, she practically didn't receive any notes and got compliments from uh, the director. So I like that all three of these guys actually complimented Solar. I think he was about to, but you know, he didn't want to interrupt them. You know, kind of holding the mic. So it's really cool that um, a lot of the cast members and staff really supported Solar. I think it's really, really sweet. You know, more drama coming ahead though. Uh, because, you, so if you, I don't know if you saw the recent Solar Shido Matahari vlog, but there's a clip of when Solar and Chang Sub um, interacted. He basically came over to her waiting room. Let me just pull it up actually. So yeah, he comes over um, like anyone else would and they think that this interaction is like something very, very sweet because of how they keep on patting each other, I guess? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he just compliments her all the time. Because she genuinely did a very, very good job. And some people commented. I've already seen this a few times but it still gives me butterflies no I don't believe they were just friends their hand please oh my god I'm blushing two friend two best friends in a room they might get married um, yeah 
I already know these kids are kids. Because <laughs> they're horrible and they're crazy and out of the wall. And you, I swear, the, as the older you get, hormone levels kind of level out each other. And then you realize that, oh, not everyone is trying to actually bang you. So, uh, it's just... I, t I get it, you know, they're kids, whatever. It's just, uh, kids will act as kids, you know? Uh, you can't expect them to be that mature. But they must not have had, if they're straight, opposite gendered friends that are genuinely friends and not trying to get in a relationship with them. And I think it's really, really sad. Um, I was fortunate enough to know some male friends that are straight, but they're genuinely friends with me. Like, we, we think of each other as family, would never ever bang each other, ever. People just need to realize that that kind of relationship, that kind of friendship, actually can exist. You just gotta be mature enough to, you know, respect each other. Well enough, and I think it, it's the reason this interaction between Solar and Chang Sub is actually really sweet, even though they're friends, is because it just hits you different when your friend, who is also a work colleague and is highly respected in that industry as well, compliments you for doing a really good job in your same line of work. It's kind of like what Moonbill said earlier. She likes it when her Mamu members, like, compliment her work. Because then she thinks, like, oh, I've worked really, really hard then. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It's just with the guy, right? There shouldn't be any difference just because he has uh, male body parts. <laughs> Try to keep this PG. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that is a thing. And I hope that you understand that their friends can still, yes, rub each other's back and shoulder. And they're still friends. It doesn't really mean anything. They can hug each other too. I don't know. You, you know, it's just their back. It's not like their chest or <laughs> like their butt. Come on. Come on, guys. It's 2022, man. Let's, let's, let's. Let's uh, grow up a little here, you know, but That's all the news that I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 9 o'clock news that never starts at 9. Good night and good news.